Now we're going to discuss IV catheterization. Everything inside this package is sterile, so you want to be mindful of what you're touching and where. You can grab this. When you have, uh, when you pull this off, you can get rid of your casing. This part right here is the catheter. This is what slides off the stylet. This portion is the stylet. Then you have your cap. So when you are about to place the catheter into the vein, go ahead and take off your cap. That will allow the blood to freely flow into the stylet. When you're in the vein, you'll want to be able to see this portion of your catheter because the blood will come into your stylet and will enter your hub. When you have blood in your hub, you know you're in your vein. Grab your stylet with your, first, your middle finger and your thumb. You want your first finger to be able to push that catheter off into the vein. One thing to keep in mind when you are putting a catheter in, when you go in, you want to push the catheter off the stylet. Sometimes when you go into a vein, you may want to actually pull back on the stylet, keeping your catheter in the same place and then you're not pushing your catheter into the vein, if that makes sense. So, bevel up. You grab your stylet firmly. Make sure your catheter is all the way back onto the stylet, not coming up a little bit. Otherwise, you can't get into the vein. Grab your leg. Your restrainer is squeezing and twisting that leg to make that catheter or the vein pop up. Place your thumb next to the vein. Hang on to your stylet and poke into the vein. I've got my first finger here ready to push that catheter off. I'm going to hold still where my fingers are, hold my stylet still, and push that catheter off into the vein. Then, once I pull my stylet out, it's the blood is going to want to gush out of the, the catheter. So I'm going to take my thumb, hold off so that, and you can see the blood is wanting to come back. I'm going to have my T-port ready. This is my T-port. It's going to have a, a protective cover on here. So I'm going to take that off. This is sterile. Don't let it touch anything. You're going to have your T-port ready so that when you pull your stylet out, you can place your T-port on if that's what you're using. This one has a screw on top, so you have to carefully screw that onto your catheter while keeping everything still. This can be a little difficult. Now, once it's kind of securely on and you're, you've got good control of the leg, you can let go grab your catheter end and securely tighten. Now, you want to keep this stable, otherwise it may just fall out. So grab your leg, take your thumb, and push forward a little bit so that it can't slide back. We got good control here. Next is taping. There are many ways to tape in a catheter. I'm going to show you what I do. I take my uh, piece of tape. You want it to be the length so that it can go around one and a half times. I have ripped mine in half. You can use your thumb to lift up the catheter, go under your catheter, sticky side up, and then you're going to bring this you can use your finger over here to stabilize that. Make a little wing, I call it. 
get it nice and secure around that catheter. This piece of tape is actually the one that's really holding in your catheter. Bring it around again. Tape can sometimes be your friend or not. And this should be coming up and around over your catheter and onto itself. Make sure this is really nice and secure, but not too tight. Another piece of tape, sticky side down. You go under your catheter. Take this piece of tape, stick it onto that other side and around. And it's much easier when you have this nice still patient and it's not moving around. Now, one thing to keep in mind is what's going to happen when it comes time to take all of this off. It's a good idea to take these pieces of tape and make little tabs. That, that way it's easier to grab. The other thing you want to um, always be mindful of is you want access to the end of your catheter. If this were to fall off, you would then have a mess. You want easy access. I'm going to pretend this fall off. You want easy access to this. You don't want tape covering all this. So make sure that is exposed all the time. Lastly, we have what some of us call the Y piece of tape. It's a regular unripped portion except for the very top. Go under the port here. You have this extension of the T-port. You take one piece, go over that, and crisscross on top of the catheter. This side comes over this portion of the catheter, secure down, and pull this tape in the direction away from this port so it's nice and snug around there. And you go around your catheter, and you leave a little tab on this side. That is your IV catheter with T-port. Then with this portion, you can use that in order to inject any drugs or fluids.